Hey there, this is gonna be a super quick and dirty tip video for you. I'm filming it on my phone. This is kind of a behind the scenes, but it was a stressful situation and I gotta share how to fix it so other people aren't as stressed as I was. Uh, this is 3D printing related. So let's say you have a fancy resin-based 3D printer and you get a hole in your FEP film and some resin leaks through and it cures on the top of your LCD. It's a nightmare. Uh, scrape it off as carefully as you can. But then after that, you might have some scrapes or scratches or even chips on the surface below. Check and see if your printer has a polarized, polarized film on top of the LCD. I'm not going to go into the science and details behind it, but basically your uh, LCD screen needs that polarized film on top of it or else it won't cure just the area you want. Look it up. Figure it out. Doesn't matter. What I'm going to tell you about is how to replace that because it's not as simple as it sounds. First, first you have to carefully scrape off the existing polarized film. I don't have any footage of that. I'm sorry. I was stressed when I did it. You peel it and you get a nice clean razor blade and you scrape it and you be careful not to scrape the glass surface of the LCD underneath it. It's a nightmare. Then you'll have some glue residue and you'll have to go back over it with acetone, acetone or alcohol and clean that off. And then you polish up the surface with some microfiber cloth and then you're stuck with an LCD and, an L and a printer that is worthless. So you have to get polarized film to replace it. There's not a lot of documentation on this. I'll put a link to the film that I used below, but it's not perfect uh, because it doesn't have adhesive. Anyway, here's the tip. You can't just throw it on there. This is polarized film. If I put this on top of it and rotate it, see how that changes? That's polarized film. Okay, I'm documenting this just in case it works. I had resin leak through my vat and get on my screen, so I had to remove the polarizing sheet because it was damaged. So I'm putting a new polarizing sheet on there, and I've had lots of uh, failures in trying to get this right, so I'm going to show you what works and how to do it, assuming that this time it works. So you get this stuff in whole sheets. You can see I've cut it, and it's cut at a weird angle here. And because that's because you can't just lay it on there and cut it. What you have to do is set it on there and rotate it. And you can see, see that? Once you get it to the right place, the darkest place, then you cut it to size and you apply it very carefully without bubbles. You make sure everything is pristine and clean. And also be careful because this is very intense UV light. You should wear eye protection if possible. Uh, and turn that off whenever you're not using it. But you do have to use it to find the perfect um, orientation of the polarizing filter before you apply it. And that can be a hassle. I'm going to show you again what it looks like. See, this is wrong. That's what you want. And some are uh, better at blocking light than others. The first ones I got were too thin and didn't block enough light, so it still cured everything. This one is doing much, much, much better. I'll put a link to this specific sheet down below, assuming it works. So after you've cut it to shape, you've got the orientation right, you need to affix it. If it's got a adhesive, uh, then you can very carefully lay it down and try to avoid bubbles. It's going to be a nightmare. You're going to get bubbles. You're going to have to peel it off and do it again. I did it three times. Uh, and then I found out that the film I had was the wrong film and it still didn't work. I finally got the right film, but it doesn't have an adhesive. Good news is you can just tape it on. Uh, so I'll put a link down below to the film that I used, but be careful and look close because some of them say not for 3D printer and they mean it because it doesn't block enough light but this one did as you can see successful print i was super stressed i had an absolutely worthless printer that also happened to belong to a sponsor upcoming videos keep your eye on this channel and it wasn't working and now it works and it's beautiful it was all my fault and so i was stressed but i fixed it and now it works great be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks and stuff like that